Okay, so this question. So for this one, it says you are given following information about a loan that is to be repaid with a series of 16 annual payments. Okay, so this is looking like a present value question or equation that we have to solve. So we're gonna start with the timeline. The first payment of 2000 is due one year from now. And the next seven payments are each 3% larger than the preceding payment. So this is the first payment. So then this is gonna be the next seven payments. So now we spoke about this before the rule of when payments are increasing by a percentage rate each year is that we always have to multiply the previous with the growth rate plus one. So for example, uh, 2000s of payment occurring at time one, right? That means that at time two, it's gonna be looking like 2000 times uh, 1.03, right? And then on time three, the the um, the payment's gonna be 2000, 1.03 to the, to the second power and so on and so forth, which means that at time eight, since we noticed that the exponent of the growth rate is always one less than the time that it's occurring at, then it'll be 2000, uh, 1.03 to the seventh. Now, uh, we're focusing on creating a present value equation, right? So we could discount this by one year V. This one is uh, V squared. And this one's V3. Oh no, uh, V to the eighth, yes. Now for the, from the ninth and 16th payment, each payment will be 3% less than the preceding payment. So again, now this is a different type of rule. Whenever we see a payment um, going through a decrease percentage every year, we always do 100% minus the decrease rate. So minus 3%. So that would be 97%, right? And we don't add one to anything. We just multiply the preceding payment by 0.97. So for time nine, it will be looking like 2000. This is the preceding payment, right? 1.03 to the seventh power times 0 0.097. Oh no, sorry, uh, 0.97, right? Um, we're gonna discount this back to nine because time equals zero is our comparison date. Now we go to 10 and we're gonna see that all the way to 16, we're gonna see that it will be looking like 2000, uh, 1.03 to the seventh, uh, 0.97, V to the 16. We wanna figure out what the exponent is for this 0.97. So we noticed that the exponent for this one would be 0.97 squared, right? So we notice that there is a, so there, since the exponent here is one, we notice that there's gonna be eight difference, right? Uh, same here, 10 minus eight, two. So 16 minus eight, it would be eight, right? Now it says the loan has an annual effective interest rate of 7%. So now it's time to figure out how to create this present value equation, right? So we notice that on this timeline, there are two different parts. One that it's increasing by 3% and the other that it's de decreasing by 3%. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to divide this into two parts. I'm gonna write a line down here and I'm gonna fit first uh, figure out how to find the present value for this part of the timeline. So I'm gonna obviously use first term minus first omitted term. 
over one minus common ratio. And the th funny thing about these problems is that you always want to try to put every uh, decimal place in your calculations just so you could get the most accurate uh, answer. Because a lot is always going on when we have these geometric progression questions. So we always need to be accurate as possible. So to save the stress when it's test day. So now we're going to look at this part. We're going to see that the first term would be uh, 2,000 V, right? 2,000 V, right? I'm just going to take out the 2,000 because 2,000 is applied to all of these payments. So it's just going to be V, okay? And the first omitted term, hmm. So after time, uh, after time eight, Time nine would be the uh, first omitted term in this case. So if this uh, whole sp spiel would continue with an increase of 3%, then it would be looking like 1.03 to the 8 V to the 9 if it were to occur one more year. And then over 1 minus the common ratio, so it would be 1.03 V, right? Now let's solve this one first. So we said that we, we see that the uh, loan has an annual effective interest rate of 7%. So let us uh, calculate our. So for this problem, so 7%, so then it would be, so for V, I'll do 1.07 to the negative one, which is 0.934579. Yeah, I'm just gonna write down all of the numbers just to remind you guys to be more, careful with the calculations because we don't want to leave out these numbers. I don't think so, no. Now we're going to do 1.03 to the 8th power times 1.07 to the negative 9 and it's going to be 0 0.6890 Three eight nine nine one over one minus zero three point nine six two. Two six one six eight two two. Now let's solve. So it'll be point nine three four five seven nine four three nine minus uh point six eight nine zero three eight nine nine one divided by one minus Point nine six two six one six eight two two, which is six point five six eight two zero six nine zero eight times two thousand. So I will get for this first part, I will get one three one three six dot four. One three eight two. Now the second part of the problem. So we already got this handled. So I'm gonna erase this so it's more space. Okay. Um, okay. So now we're gonna do the second part. So the second part says that the first term is so. We see here, we're gonna use time A as the comparison date for this part. So we could take out 2000 because it's common. We could also take out 1.037 as well. 
Okay, now let's solve. So for the first term, it's looking like it's, um, well, it's looking like uh, 0.97 to the V9. The first omitted term is looking like 0.97 to the ninth power of v to the 17th is a word to continue. Okay, one minus common ratio. What would be the common ratio? Well, 2001.037 would be out. Um, v to the nine, this would be v to the 10. One v would be a laid out. 0.972, so it would be 0.97v. Now let's solve this. Um, so 0.97 times 1.07 to the negative ninth power, it would be 0.527615. Okay. And then for this one, it'll be 0.97 to the ninth power k okay, times 1.07 to the negative 17. So it'll be minus 2, 4. You know, I already have this part saved in my calculator. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to subtract it from here. Minus 0.527613. Okay, so this whole top is going to be 0.2869, and it's a long number, so, but it starts with 2869, but it's saved in my calculator, so I'm going to keep it divided by 1 minus 0.97 times 1.07 to the negative one. The whole thing would be 3.0703226692. Now I'm gonna multiply it by these, so times 2,000, then times 1.03 to the seventh. So then the answer would be, for this whole thing would be 75, Five two point two one nine two seven five and so on. Let's add that to this part of the present value. So it would be one three one three six point four one three eight two. So the uh, the answer I get is. 20,688.63, which is closest to the answer A. I just feel like if I left out all of these decimals, I would get a number farther from this. To, so to save more stress, to save stress, I suggest keep all of the decimal numbers and uh, you might as well just maybe get a result that's only one number off the choices that they provide for us, but yeah.